Finalmente, o Special Metal Remain and Bodies. First, fighting at the Knockout Champions from Middle Root Quarter. From Factory X Moyita and Angle Root Colorado. Ian, the Red High. And fighting at the last Cards of Middle Root Quarter. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. A 185-pound professional fight makes up our main event of the evening, wearing the black and flag style trunks representing Factory X, Mr. Ian Heinish. He's facing off against the fighter in the silver trunks. Says Grudge down the side, also representing Pound for Pound Fitness, Mr. Zach Wells. Tom Johnson, third man in the cage, and Heinish wastes no time landing a solid right hand. And he's going to have to be careful with that tonight, I think, because he's not dealing with your average striker. You're right. Wells, with a superlative striking background, landed a knee as Heinish closed in. And off of his back here, let's see what Wells is able to do. Wells has a bit of a smile on his face right now. As always. Yeah, true. And Heinish looking to put the heavy leather down, showing active feet and hips as Wells, using his length nicely to his advantage here. But Highness just so powerful and so heavy from the top. He has such a smothering game. It's going to be really difficult for Wells to advance his position from here. Yeah, this is going to be a really interesting fight. It's going to be interesting to see what kind of, what kind of, uh, how calm Zach Wells can stay, which we know he does. But it'll be very interesting to see kind of the methodical thinking of Zach Wells as he does start to get up and engage in this fight. If he lets Ian Heinish take him down and steamroll him, he's going to be in for what we see right now. But, it, but knowing Zach Wells and the kind of style that he's got, when he's on his feet and he's kind of got the, the, the tempo of the fight underneath him, he's a very scary fighter. And obviously Heinish and his camp aware of that as we saw Heinish literally sprint across the cage and close the distance. Yeah. And Wells doing a really good job with his guard work. Looks like he's been putting in a lot of time on his ground game. Heinish had been able to pass into half mount momentarily. Wells able to get full guard back, but over in the corner of Heinish where he's postured up and he has just been relentless with his ground and pound attack since the moment he put this on the mat. Very reminiscent to the Kane and Grigsby fight. And continuing to power away with the right hands is Heinish. Referee Tom Johnson telling the bottom fighter he needs to do something here. Wells goes for a foot on hip, able to get a little bit of a spin. Zach he's Wells is going to trap the arm, but he got his head off the cage. Yeah, he's definitely going to have to get off his back here. And it'll be interesting to see if Ian Heinish kind of gasses himself out a little bit. He's a very muscular, heavily muscled kid, and we're going to see if he's going to be able to carry that muscle. Zach Wells obviously very calm, cool, and composed regardless of what's going on in there. One of my favorite fighters to watch. Wells doing a good job with the overhook, trying to make sure that Heinish doesn't have too much free to fire away with. Heinish doing good work trying to pass the guard. Keeps looking to skip over at least one leg. But Wells, again, looks like he's been putting in the ground time in the gym. Without a doubt. Because he's not letting Heinish get to full mount. Heinish in half mount now, trying to pull that left knee through. Now he has an opportunity, and there it is. Full mount for the Factory X fighter. And you know he's going to try to put some power down here. Really nice job of Zach Wells shrimping out of it. But he's eating shots. There's no question. Heinis just all grit and determination. Looking to put his stamp on this fight here early. See if he sets up the head and arm choke here. Starting to get good position. We're already seeing Wells starting to redden up a little bit. And Wells looking for the turn, but Heinis going to be able to maintain top position here. Turns it into back control, but he's just a little bit high. He In is. the corner of Wells is just screaming at him. He's but. high. But good job by Heinish of adjusting, 
settles his hips down a little bit, and we're going to take it to the second round because I just heard the 10-second clacker. <laughs> and there it is. Very dominant first round for Ian Heinish. Second round just about underway. Both corners exiting the cage. Dominant first round for Ian Heinish. I wasn't timing it, but we have the corner of Heinish saying that it was supposed to have been a five minute round and it only went four minutes. And with him being on top and firing away with ground and pound at the end, that could be something that they have a legitimate complaint about, but Looks like pretty immediately here, Hine is going to try to put it back exactly where he ended in round number one. Just basically a continuation of what we saw. It's absolutely a good strategy for Heinish. It is. I'm, I'm in complete <laughs> agreement. It is. He just has such great control from the top. He's just got such, such a heavy wrestling yeah, game. Yeah, I was you know? just going to say such a great wrestling pedigree that Really difficult for anybody to deal with that. See if he's able to bring that left leg through and pick up where he ended in round number one. Heavy, heavy pressure across the cheekbone of Wells. Hyde is probably going to try to use that to set up as a pass. If he wanted, he could lighten up a little bit and pop down with some elbows here, but... Alex not to, and a couple of peppering punches. Almost in half guard right now is Heinish, and he's looking to lay down the lumber, and he's really getting those hips over the top of uh, Zach Wells, and, Z and he's looking for that side choke, but Zach Wells doing a nice job of keeping him in his guard. Full guard now for Wells, and with Wells having such a significantly longer body, this works out well for him because he can keep Heinish a away a little bit at least, not let him have absolute full effect on his punches, but with somebody that has the musculature of Heinish, full effect isn't always necessary to get the job done. And Heinish is landing some big shots right now. And it looks as if he's oh, got... a couple of solid elbows. Yeah, it looks as if he's got Zach Wells in a little bit of trouble right now. Posturing up. Those last few elbows, those are the kind that make your opponents start to wither, starting to lighten up on their defense. And a credit to Ian for staying very, very busy in all positions tonight. Always looking to either improve his position or land damaging yes. strikes. Haven't seen him look a whole lot for submissions yet, but definitely enough to let the referee say, hey, you're making a fight out of this on the ground. Let's leave it here. Absolutely right. <laughs> and Wells got to start getting a little more active with his escape attempts here. He can't just lay there because eventually Highness is going to put together a flurry. And the mouthpiece of Wells starting to pop out. He's in a bad spot here. Highness knows that he's going to try to flurry with power. <laughs> Doing a very nice job of keeping that pressure on as Ian Highness right now. Zach Wells is in some deep trouble, and he's been in trouble for, since the opening minutes of this round, or of this fight. And Wells has his head jammed up against the cage now, taking some hard shots, has foot on hip. Let's see if Wells is able to position. Oh! Goes for the arm. Heinish has his elbow back far enough. Wells not going to be able to close this off unless something changes. And Heinish back inside the guard. Good job by Wells doing what he needed to to try to set that up, but Heinish just wise to it. You know what factor X he's putting in his time in the ground game. Yeah, without a doubt. 
I tell you, this the if Zach Wells can make it out of this round right now, this third and final round, he's going to be literally with a, fighting with a major sense of urgency to get this fight over. Yeah, he's no doubt about it. You know, these these could even be 10-8 rounds. rounds. Exactly. Yeah, so. In the position of so far behind, you have to score a knockout to pull even. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> it's a boxing quote. Hey. <laughs> You can see the effects and the and the toll that this fight is taking on Zach Wells right now, as he just arches his neck just to try to get a breath. Now looking to set up the triangle and immediately Heinish counters. What a beautiful counter by the Factory X fighter. Wells be able to scramble back to his feet. This is where he wants this fight so that he can do his work. And Heinish just smothering him against the cage, absolutely rips him to the ground. Looking for a lateral throw against the cage was Heinish. Slipped off, and now Zach Wells having the ability to sprawl hard right now, which he's doing, extending the arms and the, and the shoulders with the 10-second clacker going. This fight's going to a third and final round, and man, Zach Wells is going to need a miracle tonight. Final round in this main event here, SCL Evolution 42. Third and final, here we go. Ian Heinish comes straight out and bull rushes Zach Wells again and lands a big left hook and puts Wells on his back again. Smothering type of fight for Ian Heinish, man. Wow. And Zach Wells is seen about as enough, enough wrestling as he's wanting to see in a long time tonight. But that just smothering wrestling game of Ian Heinish has been the key all night. All career, really. You and I have, right. had the, have had the the privilege of calling almost all of Heinish's fights here in Colorado, and this is just something that everybody knows he's going to do because he's done it from moment one in the cage, and nobody's had an answer for it yet. Yeah, that's and he's true. putting it into into a solid effect here against a really talented fighter in Zach Wells, and Zach going to try to bring that leg over, see if he can get an armbar. We're starting to work here, but Heinis just positions himself well, makes it so that he's the one that's threatening with the head and arm choke, and Wells just not able to answer what Heinish has on the ground. Yeah, and Heinish seems to be attempting to kind of slide up, was attempting to slide up for a uh, side choke, but Wells doing a nice job. Wells doing what he can. He's staying busy with his hands. He's extending his guard, trying to keep Heinish out of range. And, uh, you know, goes to swivel the hips when he can, pushes himself off the cage. But Heinis just so well schooled on the mat, has an answer for everything that Wells tries to throw up. And again, it's that heavy pressure that he's able to always control his opponents with. A couple of big shots land there for Heinis, and he brought a strong contingent of fans here to the Douglas County Event Center with them, and they are giving their approval right now. Hard shots landing right now for Ian Heinish. 
Wells able to get a hand up on the bicep, shut down a little bit of the power. Referee was starting to take a look at it. Wells showed he was still defending intelligently. And about 74 different people giving instructions to Heinis right now. <laughs> That's right. The loudest one is behind me is two-time former Bellator champion Joe Warren. I can hear him in 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 North Colorado. <laughs> And that's the voice you want to listen to. <laughs> Heinrich Big, looking to shots. improve his position here. Wells tries to bring a knee in. Heinrich doing a nice job here of keeping Wells' head against the cage. Just smashing it up there. Something a lot of folks don't think about is how difficult it becomes to breathe when you're in that position with your chin buried into your chest because you're smashed up against the cage. And he's really landing at will now with those short left hand, those short left hooks as we speak. And he's just smothering because he's really preventing Zach Wells from doing anything but defend right now. Big, heavy right hand. Heinish posturing up and continuing the assault right now with that left hand. Goes from punches to elbows. One of them skipped off solidly for him. The brow of... Wells starting to show the story of this fight a little bit. And now Heinish again tries to put together a strong flurry. Big punches for Heinish. Referee's about to step in. And Wells again shows that he can defend himself. That was as close to getting stopped as I've ever seen a fight so far in Colorado. And Ian Heinish is just keeping the pressure on. No quitting, Zach Wells continues to move enough to show that he's keeping himself safe in there. And Heinish has tried several times to put together fight ending flurries. I can see now the mouthpiece of Wells has popped out. Wells continues to be active with his hips, pushes himself off the cage. And Zach tries Wells is ring around, but Heinish again with that forward pressure, be it standing or on the ground, always moving, always pressuring. And Ian Heinish has really battered the left eye of uh, Zach Wells, and he's cut Zach Wells, and he's just keeping the fire going right now as Ian Heinish. He has not stopped the whole fight. And we're going to take it to the judges, but this one's an easy call. Congratulations to these guys for putting on a great main event. For Ron Goldstein, I am J.R. Gordon. Thanks for having joined us at Sparta Combat League 42. Evolution, we'll see you cage side at the next one. After three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard. All three judges scored about 30 to 27. Declaring your winner by unanimous decision, Ian